me, the Assistant Minister for Employment, Productivity, uh, Industrialisations, Youth and Sports, on the ball, Alvik Maraj, on my immediate right. Thank you, Deputy Secretary, um, for welcoming everyone over here, uh, Business Community of Savo Savo. I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of our Honourable Minister, Honourable Pramin Bala. Uh, this is the last uh, of the week-long session that we actually had. We have been actually going around of, all over Fiji. Since uh, Monday, we started in Latoka, followed by Ba, then we actually went to Rekireki, Tabua, Singatoka, Nendi. Finally, uh, this morning, we were in Lambasa, and now trying to actually round it off uh, in South Sao. Um, Thank you everyone for taking out your time to actually come and uh, give in your views and uh, especially have this seven session uh, with regards to Ministry of Employment, Productivity, Industrial Relations, Youth and Sports. Um, I do believe uh, there are certain concerns that you'd like to actually raise with uh, this particular ministry. Uh, for past one year, we have been actually working behind the scene. Uh, one of the things that we are trying to actually change with regards to Ministry of Employment is Ministry of Employment should be based both on employees and employers. We are trying to actually bring in employers aspect as well. Uh, as we always say, there's two sides of the coin. It's not just one-sided. We are trying to actually provide service and uh, deliver service in such a way that uh, we are not a hindrance to our business, but we actually try to support the business in order to increase the productivity. This is the new direction we are taking. We are actually trying to change some of the processes, some of the ways the ministry actually used to deal with the issues that were actually brought before the ministry. One of those is like, for example, previously, what used to happen if the labor department actually goes into a shop regardless to whether it's a busy time, it's a non-busy time, whether customers are there or non-customers, uh, customers are not present. Still, they used to actually get hold of the owners and try to actually get whatever they want to. Now, uh, we actually believe under streamlining, streamlining of the business processes, these are some of the things that should be done behind the scene. Our labor department actually should get to talk to the employer first, to find a convenient time, a time that is not busy, especially during the business hours, that's the time actually they should be going and doing the investigation. Rather than actually going to the business in a peak hour when everyone is busy and try to become a hindrance. So these are some of the things that we are trying to change with regards to Ministry of uh, Employment, Productivity and Industrial Relations. The other thing that we are trying to actually do in terms of improving our system is uh, to provide a better service as you know that uh, the government of the day is very much focused on service delivery. What we are trying to do at this point in time is to bring on this reform so that if you actually come to our office, the kind of service that is delivered to you should be in par to the service that would be delivered to you shall you actually enter any private sector or any private office. So that is the level of changes we are actually trying to bring with regards to Ministry of Employment, Productivity and Industrial Relations. The other thing that we are trying to do at this point in time is to have a proactive approach now. Before, what used to happen is when you used to actually go and have meetings, we used to have meetings in isolation with the employees and then in isolation with the employees. We want to change that culture within the ministry. So Ministry is trying to come up with a team whereby we'll be actually going out to meet employers and employees at the same time. The employees, they need to actually know their rights. The employers, they need to know their rights. The employees need to know what the rights of the employees are. And they, in the same manner, the employees actually should understand what are some of the rights of the employers as well. Because if employees and employers, they have a better level of trust, better in a conducive working environment, we believe that the productivity of that company or the private sector can increase. Definitely when we are talking about public sector, when we are talking about uh, productivity, we are talking in terms of service delivery. But if we are talking about private sector, it comes down to the monetary value. So that is another aspect we are actually trying to bring within Ministry of uh, Employment and Productivity. How can we increase the productivity in the private sector? 
So with all these reforms that are actually coming in, we actually thought that it is very important for us to go and hear out our employers as well. So that the ideas that are actually brought to flow today, we can actually take them on board and make necessary changes. Make necessary changes within our ministry to enable our better service delivery. So that is basically the gist of it, uh, of this particular roadshow that we have been actually conducting all throughout the week. So without any further delay, I shall now actually open the floor. I believe employers are here. If you need any clarification with regards to anything, you can actually do so. If you have comments, you can give in your comments, suggestion, clarification. If you have any questions, we are actually here to answer. So without any further delay, let's open the session for the renewal session now. I am representing Wrong Investments. And we have a number of employees uh, working for long investments. Uh, there's two issues that I'd like to clarify here. One is uh, when one, if one of our employees is terminated, or either they have been um, suspended for some reason, um, when they report to the labor department, they give their side of the story. And then the labor department, they send us a letter for us to appear in the mediation without consulting us as employers for any further clarification on that. Why the person was terminated or what was the reason? And they give, I mean, I know the employees, they have their rights. They can go to the labor department. They have complaints, no? But the labor department, the officer in charge, needs to contact the employer as well and find out what was the reason. Is it, is, was it a genuine case or not? So a few times it has happened to us that without uh, consulting us and we have received a letter of notification of appealing for the mediation. And then when we do appear for the mediation, it's not uh, us, the employer's uh, fault. It was the em employee. So it's just um, costing us a lot of time. We have to make time for meeting, uh, appearing for these mediations. Sometimes we are, I mean, the senior employees, we are really busy. So we cannot uh, just run uh, and uh, appear for these mediations. Thank you much for your comments and clarification that you have actually seen. Uh, currently, that is the normal process actually that we go through. Any employee actually um, coming in and launching a complaint, that doesn't actually mean that we have actually decided from the employer, uh, ministry's point of view that employer is at fault. The normal process is such that anybody can actually lodge a complaint. And when we actually are in mediation, it's not that we are actually sitting there just because a complaint is before us. So we are one-sided. We know, we do understand that the ministry has been taken before that we are too much employee focused. And this is what actually our minister has been actually uh, emphasizing on. And he was actually um, in parliament uh, just in the last session. He also actually said the same thing. Ministry of Employment is all about employer and employees. In order to streamline that, uh, yes, um, what we can actually do is, as I have alluded earlier, we need to actually contact employers at a time convenient to them. We can't be actually just calling them at a peak hours to actually leave your workplace, come to the Ministry of Employment, just to actually resolve since there is a uh, complaint before Ministry of Employment. So we can actually streamline it, but when we actually come for the mediation, that is the time. It's on the ministry to actually decide who is at fault. Yes, definitely. If the employee is at fault, we will actually uh, let the employer know that the employee was fault. And if the employer is fault, that is the time we actually let the employer know that they were at fault. But definitely it's not that just because there is a complaint before us, without actually hearing the employers, we will actually make a decision. But yes. All the decisions that are actually made during mediation needs to be through ERA. We need to actually ensure that whatever is discussed is in line with ERA. Because that is the document and that's the law that actually governs our ministry. But yes, streamlining the process, we can actually do it. If, for example, if the employers, they want uh, 
for their benefit if they want to actually have it like for example after four i believe ministry should be in a position to actually accommodate no but not doing peak hours as i was saying we actually need to go away with the process and data actually providing a hindrance towards our business community and towards the employers at times uh, when we have bad uh, weather uh, rainy season and uh, when we don't have enough raw materials so we face uh, like we don't have anything any work left for our workers so can you clarify can we send them home what what is the hours for that uh, i mean when it comes to so building industry okay thank you very much for that question um if we actually are uh, trying to get to that question one of the very important point would be what does the contract specify which the uh, employer and the employee have they signed is there any clause in that particular contract which actually specifies shall there be any disaster or anything right and the company is uh, let's say as you stated uh, is slack at the moment right so what can be done to employees if it is defined in the contract and the employee is signing that contract then yes you can but if it is not then you cannot actually just send any employee home because you think the business is slack at the moment the other thing if you are actually putting those kind of clauses in the contract please ensure that they are within the ambit of era it's not that we can actually just say if it is rains right we have the liberty to send any employee home right we need to have terms and conditions so if you are actually designing a contract and this is something uh, we have been actually telling all the employers all this while if you are trying to actually develop such policies for the uh, for your company or such contracts please send it over to us send it over to us we'll get our legal team to actually vet this contract because most of the time when we actually think that we are doing right but it is not s p e r a and you know e r a is a thick document it's a legal binding document so if it is actually sent to us our legal team can go through those contracts and if there is any amendments to be made they can actually let you know that these are the amendments that are supposed to be made so that you are protected as well as the employee is protected and protected because if the contract is not within the ambit of era you actually send somebody home they actually come and uh, complain to labor department labor department will work according to what's in era so that is also very important so it has to be part of the contract within the ambit of era thank you thank you you actually have a uh, condition under the the uh, specific wages regulation order that specifies your hours of work so uh, it's there as per the uh, wage regulation order with regards to so many so once you uh, you keep within the the minimum requirements of the WRO specific to uh, so many you are okay you are fine so that defines your hours of work as well as the other conditions with regards to the pay of the different uh, uh, employees or the different categories of work that you have within your industry so you are part of the so called 10 wages regulation orders for the formal sector employees that, that are covered by the specific uh, wage regulation orders eh? you cannot just actually say it's uh, he was found stealing or it was Another thing, just for the information of uh, everyone present, lodge a complaint. As employee, if you are not happy uh, with the